it's here my SGIN 17 inch 8 gigabyte DDR4 256 megabyte anyway my new uh, computer is here and it's on sale right now at Walmart and so here it is let's let's take a look at this oh and here we got the box inside the box good I like it protected let's take a look at the rest We're going to try to do this one-handed at this point. Now that I've unlatched that a little bit, see what we've got here. All right, there's the package. All the foam. The Sigmund, oh, there it is. The signage. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, user manual came right out. And there's the box. The other box. The stuff. What's this? Yep, it's the power cord. Power cord. Anything on the other side of this? Not really. Okay, so let's take off the ends. And one end off, and the other end off. Ta-da! And the sleeve. One-handed sleeve action. It's upside down. Fold it up here. Slide that puppy down. Oh, there we go. Now. It is off. We can figure out what side is the front. <clears throat> I've been buying 15 inch, 15 and a half inch uh, laptops. This is my first 17 in a while. So I'm looking at this going, hey, this is bigger. I'm liking this. So let's see here. Okay, open that up. We've got a typical thing here ready to go. We'll get that started in a bit okay let's start it up and see what happens beep 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 okay here we go there's the microsoft square <clears throat> Just a moment. Nice to have a bit bigger laptop now. Look at that. My hand only covers that much of it, which is a nice. Oh, notice there's a, a light spot right there shining down. Uh, the hot spot. what that's about there it's a no it looks like a genuine hot spot okay got to here well english works for me 
Where's the, the mousey mouse? Let's go with this. All right, that works. I suppose it's gonna want me to do Wi-Fi right away. <clears throat> Yes, I want the U.S. style. That's what I learned back in school, back 50 years ago. Well, 40 years ago. Want to add a second keyboard layout. No, I don't know a second keyboard layout. Oh, there we are. Connect me to my network. Oh, right. Let me turn off the camera and take care of that. Okay, so we got that in. We are connected easily. Didn't take anything. I just put the password in. Checking for updates. Please keep your PC on. Before I turned it on, I <clears throat> made sure I plugged it in. Oh, plugged it in over there. And uh, I left it a little while, like a half an hour or more, to charge up a little bit because I didn't want to turn it right on. Lest it need additional charging before we get started. Sometimes the batteries <clears throat> can run down. And if you start them immediately, even if they're plugged in, it may not have enough power in the charge to, to operate it. Thanks for your patience. Maybe that square circle design is a G... GN, whatever the name of this brand is, G, <sighs> IN, G, something IN, GPIN, I don't remember. Sit back and relax while the magic happens. <clears throat> How about that magic? It came with Microsoft 11. I was not, for the last year plus, going to update my previous computers to, to uh, Microsoft 11, MS System 11, because I've had way too much problems in the past moving my, moving my operating system to one further updating it to the newest model, and then too many of my programs not working on it because there was needed to put a new driver on it for the update. And new drivers sometimes didn't even exist for the update. I've learned my lesson, and I do not update my operating systems any longer. I leave them as they are, knowing that will be a lot less trouble. You know, in the past, I uploaded operating systems to find that the new operating system took a lot more space and used up what little space I had on my computer. And that wasn't pleasant.
because then I had even less operating, less uh, memory on already low memory systems. And sometimes the operating systems and updating them, upgrading them would, uh, would take a lot more internal memory as well, or uh, RAM memory. And uh, notice there's uh, another hot spot down here when it's bright. Oh, and another one down here, another one up there. Generally around here on the dark screen. Don't know why. I don't imagine it's intended to, to be that way. Okay. Microsoft Software License. Ah, there it is. Last updated June 2021. Well, I'm pretty much guaranteed to have to... Yeah, look at that. Can't even scroll down to see it. Where's the arrow? There we go. That's right. It's not a touch screen, is it? Anyway, there's the... Uh, License agreement down to the bottom. Remember in the past, some some license agreements made you scroll all the way to the bottom. Before you could accept it. Unlock your Microsoft Experience, sign in with your Microsoft account, and create the experience you want. Customize preferences, sync content, and security settings across devices, and discover products and services revel relevant to you. Accelerate your device setup. Exiting Windows Preferences. Accelerate your device setup. Make your Windows device setup fast and easy by restoring your existing Windows preferences. Control privacy and subscription preferences across devices. Personalize your Windows experience. Access Microsoft 365 for free. Use free version of your favorite productivity apps. Well, that's nice, I guess. Because it's always a pain figuring out how I'm going to load the word on it. You know, you buy so many copies of, uh, of the Microsoft software, and then each time you go to a new computer, it seems like you have to buy another one. And I've done that so many times over the years. All right, good top stopping point for me to take a break. So I left it last night uh, as it was doing the phone link, uh, which I use on my other computer, but it was not uh, not seeming to finish linking the phone. It seemed to partially link the phone, but didn't finish it. Possibly because I'm already linked to my other computer, perhaps. But anyway, this morning I got up and ready to move on with this, and it and it gave me this meltdown, ice cream meltdown uh, thing. Let's finish setting up your PC. We'll help you link your phone later. We'll see. Oh boy, we're to this part. Installing the latest features. It's been doing this for about 15 minutes now. And if that on the bottom is any indication of how long it's going to take, it's going to take at least another 15 more minutes. Might have might have been 30 minutes that I that it's been running and it might take an hour, but the point is uh, it's not going to be instant. Uh, setting up this computer is definitely not instant. Oh, 
Okay, the setup is uh, uh, supposedly officially complete. However, over here you see that we don't have, we have links, but apparently the links don't work. You can kind of tell by the uh, icons being pages instead of something else. Um, I do have internet access, Wi-Fi that is, here. I'm going to have to figure out how to get either Google. I've not liked uh, Edge before, Microsoft Edge, which is always happy to put itself here. Here it is, Microsoft Edge. But uh, I prefer Google, and I'm thinking to go with uh, with DuckDuckGo uh, to not have such propaganda and filtering done by the uh, leftist organizations. Um, but uh, I think we're done with the installation here. And if you're going to get one today, I can't really tell you whether I'd recommend it or not. But it did take a time to set up, and as they do, they take quite a bit of time to add programs back into them. So good luck with that. Goodbye now.